Guys, subscribe to my channel hashtags with Vichil and click on the bell icon to get notified regarding the latest videos. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel hashtags with Vichil. In this video, we'll be doing an origami model called as Sitting Elephant. So without further delay, let's get started. So guys, this is the final model of Sitting Elephant. This is how it looks. So let's keep this aside and let's start making it. For this, all you need is a square piece of paper. Again, it can be of any size, it can be of any material. So first, you need to fold it from this corner to this corner along this diagonal axis something like this now pick one flap and fold it till here adjust the corners properly look something like this similarly you do it on the other side Now open it back, you get this crease over here, similarly on the other side. Now you rotate your page and you need to do the same folds on this side of the page. We did it on this side, you need to do it on this side. So something like this. open it back you can see there is an X formed here similarly you do it on the other side open it back you get this X so hold your paper like this now and from this corner you fold it till this central point from this corner you fold it till the same point and if you see it forms something like this and then adjust your paper properly so that you get a right angle triangle over here and then fold it something like this this is the right angle triangle you get. Similarly, you need to do it on the opposite side. From here, you fold it till this point. From here, you fold it till the same point. And form a right angle triangle. Look something like this you'll have these two flaps now you keep them towards one of the sides you pick any side that's your wish I'm keeping it on this side and I'll this horizontal cone there is a horizontal cone this is the horizontal cone you need to fold it to make it vertical from this central point Press it tightly so that you get a proper crease. You got this crease and similarly you need to do it on the other side. Along the same crease you fold it. Open it back so you will get this proper crease. Now you need to hold it this way, open it up. You see there are two creases formed like this. So press using your thumb fingers and use your index fingers to gently pull it down along this, this central point. Something like this. And then fold it slightly, slowly. It forms something like this.
now move your flaps ahead both the flaps similarly you need to do it for this side of the cone to fold it on this way so this is the pick this as your rotating point and rotate it like this so that this edge of the cone and this line over this back line they overlap each other adjust it properly this should be your rotating point here and this two should be on same line something like this you will get this crease you need to fold it on same crease on towards the opposite side now again you need to open this up from the top you will get this similar v shape over here and then use your thumbs again use your index fingers to pull it upwards something like this this is how it looks like so this cone was initially here it went down this cone was initially here it went up now hold your model like this now you can see there is already a crease formed over here if you can see it there is already a crease formed over here you gently need to open this and pull push this in inwards something like this and then press it back similarly you do it on the other side you open this you open this you can use this previous curve to match the center point and then gently press it like this this is how it looks like now you need to fold this flap over this this line something like this similarly on the other side now you open this this flap over here something like this and similarly you open this side flap something like this you can hold your paper like this now now you need to fold this cone towards the top parallel again parallel to this line leaving slight part of it above for the tail so fold it i just left this much part if you see it here i left this much part and then folding it like this similarly you need to fold it over the same crease on the opposite side and then you need to open this up and open it slowly so that it doesn't open the entire model open it slowly fold it backwards and then close it again adjust it properly and form something like this now you need to gently open this crease slightly and fold it like this this is the tail of the elephant this is how it looks now you need to fold this cone downwards so open this and from this point directly fold it downwards something like this now these flaps there are two flaps above you need to fold it down 
you need to fold this side and then pull this beak upwards something like this okay now you hold this this part of it and then fold it downwards you can choose any length as you can see here I have folded it here leaving this much portion so similarly over here I'm folding it at this point and then similar uh, fold you need to do it on the opposite side to get the crease and then again open it up you get this V and fold it downwards similarly you again fold it like this on this side and on the opposite side along the same crease and then you open and fold it Now for the legs you just need to slightly fold it over here, something like this. That's all. So this is the sitting elephant which we were about to make. This is how it looks like. So guys, I hope you like this video. Please hit the like button, comment your views about this video and most 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 important, please hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified regarding the latest updates. This is Vishal. Thank you so much and I hope to see you all back in my next video. Take care guys.